Here are a few ways to copy files from camcorders to a PC or Mac. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter. In today's video, let's see the easiest ways to get your videos off your camera and onto your computer. So the first solution is a very traditional way. It's also a manual way. So if your camera works with a micro SD card like GoPros, for example, but your computer doesn't have a micro SD slot, only a regular SD card slot, you can get an adapter and use that to connect the micro SD card to your computer. And then from there, obviously, you can copy these files onto your computer. If your computer doesn't have an SD card reader, you can get an external one that you can connect to your computer through USB. Now open your file explorer by pressing Windows key plus E on Windows. Double click on the SD card icon and here you'll usually find a folder named DCIM. This folder contains all your photos and videos. Select the videos that you want to copy. You can also drag and drop them for a quick transfer to the new folder. And when the transfer is done, just safely eject the SD card. It's important to safely eject the SD card because it can get damaged and then all your files on the SD card will be damaged as well or just some of them or future recordings. So pay attention because there is nothing worse than recording something important maybe or just a regular video only to find out afterwards that the files are damaged because you didn't pay attention how you removed that SD card. On Mac, you insert the SD card the same way and then from the finder, you can find the SD card again and look for the files in the same folder. Now, another popular method is copying your videos directly from your camcorder. In order to do this, we need to connect the camera to the PC or to the Mac with a USB cable. It's usually included in your camera's box, so you can find it easily. When you connect your camera to your computer, it will detect it instantly and show it as an external hard drive or a storage device. Now again, whether you're on Windows or on Mac, open your file browser and open up your camera's folders. Here you will find the same DCIM just like on the SD card. And then from here, you can simply copy the files or drag and drop them into their new folders. The reason this method is a bit safer is because you don't need to uh, move the SD card around. So you limit the chances of it being damaged. A con for this is that usually this method is a bit slower because the data goes through USB and not through the SD card, which is much faster. Now note that video editors like iMovie, DaVinci Resolve, they can import your videos directly from your camera or from your SD card. So you don't even need to copy them to your computer. That is, of course, if your SD card is big enough to hold enough videos. So you can use the SD card for recording and also for editing at the same time. With the Uniconverter, you can automatically load the video files from a camera and start converting them, trimming them, and just start working on them all together. Open up the Uniconverter, and on the main interface, select the Converter tool. Then up here, click on the Add Files button, and from here, select the Add from Camcoder option. A new window will appear, which will showcase all the videos which are stored on your connected camera. Now carefully browse through the videos and select the ones that you'd like to transfer to your computer. Click the add to convert list button to initiate the import process. In case you need to change the format of your videos for compatibility reasons, you can choose a new output format for all the video files that are on the camera. The most common format that is supported by everything is MP4 or MOV H.264. You can customize the video resolution here. You can also crop, trim and affect the videos. And then before clicking on start all, select an output folder for yourself. And then once the conversion process is complete, go to the finish tab. This will display a list of videos that have been successfully transferred to your computer. To go to the folder where these files are located, click on this folder icon right here. All right, but that is it. It's a very simple video about very simple stuff, but I hope it was helpful anyway. And if it was, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.